It's estimated that 80% of cancer patients in the United States survive the disease. But to the contrary, only 30% survive here in Kenya. The reason for such drastically different results is early diagnosis. And this is what the Ministry of Health is seeking to address. Come March next year, Kenyans seeking affordable cancer treatment could benefit from advanced diagnosis and treatment machines in public health facilities. The base facility will be the Kenyatta University Teaching, Research and Referral Hospital. Victoria Rubadiri sat down with Health Cabinet Secretary Mutai Kagwe and got a first look at some of the new equipment. Would it be safe to say that we have been in a crisis mode of sorts when it comes to addressing and responding to uh, the cancer issue in the country? We have had the, a challenge of cancer treatment in the country for a long time. And if you look at the number of people a, who have lost their lives, and secondly, if you look at um, the number of people who have traveled you know, across the world, particularly India, uh, the UK, the US, uh, for cancer treatment, then you can see in economic terms, you know, the cost to the country, in uh, social terms, and just the, 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 the devastating effects, um, the cost of treatment of cancer has had on families. And probably the heaviest of challenges that the health CS just mentioned is the loss of life. As a matter of fact, in 2018, there were 32,987 cancer deaths in Kenya. This was further compounded by the 47,887 new cancer cases diagnosed in the country. The biggest challenge we have had in the country is essentially diagnosis, where by the time you go to a hospital, the cancer is so far spread or so far gone in your body that the doctors can't do very much. In desperation, we then head out of the country. And there are cases, in fact, where people have gone to India and been told, look, you know, sorry, there's nothing we can be able to do. 80% of patients in the U.S. survive cancer, 80%. Here, only 30% survive and, and when, we did, when we did our study, we realized that it's because of the early diagnosis. This CT scan machine, known as a CT256 slice unit, is one of two that will be able to scan patients much faster, meaning more of them can be seen in a day. The machines are part of a larger plan to increase the hospital's capacity to offer comprehensive cancer care in a public institution. Mm. This site is the beginning of the first public integrated molecular imaging center in East and Central Africa. So far, only Egypt, Morocco and South Africa boast having such a facility. It will house several advanced screening and diagnostic machines, including two PET scanners and two MRI units. The reason why a lot of Kenyans go to India is because of the PET scan machine. We have a small one at Aga Khan, uh, but that is just for, the, you know, for, for, the, for their patients. But you are going to have the first one in a public institution. The PET scan machine can handle up to 30 patients a day at a cost of 50,000 to 55,000 shillings per person, compared to 69,500 shillings charged in some private facilities. KU is working on scaling this service to about nine county referral hospitals, primarily former provincial general hospitals. If, if you have only the isotopes and you have the PET scans only in this hospital, it will be overwhelmed. They will not be able to cope. So we want to have regional centers that can be able to do that and then come here only after. This is a referral hospital. You know, so we want it to, to be exactly that. According to data from the Kenyatta National Hospital, 65% of all diagnosed cancer cases were either stage 3 or 4, further limiting the possibilities of promising treatment outcomes. And to boost efficiency in treatment, the hospital has acquired two Linux machines that are essentially used for radiotherapy. They promise to lessen the treatment time and increase cancer cure rates, according to experts from the Christie Foundation Hospital in the UK.
This also happens to be the foundation that will provide support in the area of training and research at KU's Molecular Center. That sort of bringing home, you know, bringing home uh, uh, health care for cancer, you know, is something we are really proud of. You know, and Kenyans should be proud of. So far, the Kenyatta University Teaching, Research and Referral Hospitals Oncology Department has attended to 992 new patients since it opened its doors in October 2019. But it seeks to attract patients from beyond Kenya's borders and become a medical care destination. We are building a host, like a hostel. We have uh, uh, single rooms, double rooms. A restaurant, we have a beauty that is going to cater for that. Of course, they can access other places around here, but also here we decided to have that to cater for, and not just for the region. Also, people coming from Mombasa, from Kisumu, and they need accommodation because to access the treatment, they also need somewhere to stay. So, we felt we thought ahead, and that building is coming up, and it will be ready in March. The roughly 2 billion shilling investment government hopes will reap benefits in the lives saved from early detection and effective cancer treatment in the country. Victoria Rubadiri, Citizen TV.